The Janine refugee camp in the occupied West Bank has long been a center for Palestinian armed resistance to Israel's illegal occupation. The estimated 15,000 people who live there have suffered raids by the Israeli military for years. But since Israel's war on Gaza began, the raids have become a nightly ordeal for families who say they have nowhere else to go. Charles Stratford reports. Barricades and rubble destroyed property and homes. Parts of the Janine refugee camp resemble nothing less than a war zone. Life here was hard long before the Hamas attacks in Israel on October the 7th, before the war on Gaza began, because the camp has long been a bastion for armed Palestinian resistance groups. But the frequent raids by the Israeli army have since become a terrifying nightly ordeal for people like Nadi Nimra and her young family. We try to find the furthest, safest corner in the house to hide in. The sound of the explosions is terrifying. I've had to take her to the hospital twice because she went into shock. It's the same for all families. We're struggling to cope. Pools of blood mark a place of death. At least one person was killed here by what people say was an Israeli drone attack only hours before. The Israeli army released this video, which we understand shows the actual strike. The destruction you see here, or in Gaza, the people fleeing their homes, the fear, everyone is afraid, for their children, for their neighbors, for their friends. Of course, anger is rising, and to the point of explosion. The graffiti describes the dead as martyrs. Walls adorned with posters and photographs of some of those killed in recent weeks months, years. Some are shockingly young, but they are prepared to die fighting a powerful army to end decades of an occupation that breaks international law. An Israeli military bulldozer did this, dug its blade into the tarmac and ripped up a road along which people live. Collective punishment, say rights groups and those who live here. They storm the camp all the time. They arrest people, they destroy. They terrorize people to try and force them to flee. There are barricades like this one right the way across the refugee camp here in Janine. At night, people move them into the center of the road to try and stop Israeli forces from entering. People here are very afraid indeed. And many of the people that live down that alleyway have left in the last couple of days. Children play at a window opposite the bombed-out mosque where Israel says gunmen hid. Hosniya Zaydan lives close by, as she has done for more than 50 years. Many people have fled. My one-year-old nephew was eating by the window. There was an explosion. The glass covered him. The soldiers demolish homes. They break inside. They beat people. As the mass killing of civilians in Gaza continues, Palestinians here too suffer the violence of what they say is Israeli army revenge. Charles Stratford Al Jazeera, Janine refugee camp in the occupied West Bank. Thousands of wounded children in Gaza have been separated from their parents during the ongoing conflict.